Okay, we're up on the mountaintop. <coughs> We've gotten to the Bohemian Rhapsody. My baby's putting some stuff. Oops. Uh, damn, okay. There's a big uh, a whale. Uh, hmm. I think we should put some water on that, hun, and wash it away. Because I don't want an animal to drink out of it. Uh. To drink it. <coughs> So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna drive the RV. You guys are riding in the. Everybody else is going in the car. Uh, be right back. girls are waiting in the car. Uh, got the windows rolled up because there are dogs out there barking like maniacs that were here. So I'm squirting the girls, cool them down a little bit. They had to wait for two hours in the car while I was in court getting nothing accomplished. Now the RV has had an issue starting but we're trying to start it. Anyway, uh, and I think it will happen. I'm not gonna say everything I'm thinking and feeling right now because it's not all positive. I gotta keep a, on a positive note about everything. That's who you really wanna watch and I don't blame you because he's wonderful. Grandma, it's funny you just said wonderful like you was us. I know, that was neat. You said wonderful. <laughs> well, uh, I noticed that too, girls. That was wonderful. Hey, yeah, it was very wonderful. I don't know where that... My baby and I have different ways of organizing the car. But we're working it out. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm trying to find, oh well, forget it. How's that sound? That's how I'll work that out. I won't worry about it. For now. How's it going, love? I'm ready to try and start it again. Okay, they've been watching you. I'm gonna show them what we're doing. The yurt is still here. It's gonna stay here. I uh, hoed out the moat and a little bit and put these bricks down in there in hopes that the moat will stay cleared out because the monsoons or the really heavy rains here are um, coming and washing all the soil into the moat. And here's another gander inside the uh, yurt because it's so wonderful. I'm going to miss it so, you guys. I love uh, seeing our clips inside the yurt and I hope that it'll be here and be used without us. I'm Yoho Ringe Ko for this wonderful yurt um, and all who enter it and have entered We've got the RV. It's trying to start, so before it was totally dead and wasn't starting at all. Um, so it's trying, it's gonna work. But... Babe, while it's charging, could you turn off that light in there? That chassis light, that's chassis switch, not yet, but 
If you let it charge more, yeah. we should turn that off. I don't know if we did, but we've got some work to do on our RV is what I'm deciding. But I know, I know this thing's going to make it to Elephant Butte or to your seat. So, see, it's already trying to start. And this thing is wonderful. It's wonderful, it's wonderful, it's wonderful. All we need to do is have a chance to put some little TLC into it. And we're going to make it awesome. It would be nice if we had money to do that with, too. My baby had to duct tape the... If you don't mind, we have to move the car and everything. I can, if you help, oh, oh. yeah, don't let it die, okay? And then we'll uh, move that shit and throw it inside real quick. And I'll put this on the dash running. Do you want to move the car or you want me to move the car? I can move the car, but we've got those cables to, yeah. You guys, uh, hang with us. We're so glad you guys are here, and I gotta tell you guys, I am the luckiest man in the world to have Darren, because we have hardship that is off the charts, and he stays with me through it all. I love this man. I'm the luckiest woman in the world. I don't forget it. Occasionally I do get weird, but I don't forget how wonderful this man is. Might as well put those near the top of the trunk. Okay, cool, thanks, love. Love you. We really do love each other, man. If we haven't proven that by now to you guys, then, well, we probably will by the end of the deal. See all that crap underneath the RV down there? It's just a bunch of piled up shit that we put under there to uh, prop up the, to balance and even out the RV. You guys would not believe how much struggle we have associated with this RV right now and all of our lives. But that said, we can do it. Look at the RV go. Got it. Excellent. Okay. You guys hang here.
Leaving service area. Entering service area. New voicemail. Fuck! Covered with fucking dirt.
Well, we may be getting frustrated, but we found a baby horny toad. Well, let me take the guys out here, because that bell... He was trying to run from me, but I caught him. And I'm your horny kyo, little dude. I'm gonna move you out into the woods, where you'll be safer from our vehicles and maybe everything else. There you go, little dude. I'm your horinga kill, thanks. Oh, you don't want to leave, huh? <laughs> well, that's sweet. You finally became the star of the show, and you don't want to go. Look how tiny he is, you guys. He's a tiny dude, the size of my tip of my thumb. <laughs> little guy, you gotta go. You gotta go, little guy. We gotta go. He's just hanging there. Namiya Willi. Namiya Horinga Kill. Uh, little dude. Um, there he is. Happy life, okay, dude? <clears throat> I got some footage with the toad. The girls have water in here.
think I have to get, uh, you got my tea out of there and everything? Uh, yeah. You did. Well, thanks. What? I found another horny token and put it with the other one. Got another one? Yeah, baby. So we must have disrupted a um, den or whatever a home of it. I think they're okay. They're under the tree. You have the money. Okay, cool. You mind running it up? Sure. In a minute? Okay, cool. We've got to go get gas, you guys. It was my mistake. My baby uh, said we may need gas. I said, no, well, I don't think it there's made a plenty of. My mistake, because I thought of it a couple days ago, and then didn't think of it yesterday to grab the big gas. Yeah, can but you and... did on before. While we were at a gas station, you guys, and I said, "No, let's. It'll be fine. It, it can't be out of gas." <laughs> I said, be and gas. it wasn't until we ran yeah. it for five minutes, and it was. But uh, that's how. Wait, right. there's a big box underneath there, hun. There is. Well, not a big one, but a box. Oh, in the back? Uh, no, see, under, yeah, underneath it. Oh, there, okay. Yeah, that's all right. We'll get it when we come back. All right. So we're going to pay rent on our RV and then uh, what we owe, and then we're going to go get gas. We'll get, go st to the storage unit, get the bigger uh, gas can. And the problem is, you know, like having room to put a full five gallon gas. Can. Uh, we'll do it. We'll, just well, leave stuff we'll probably at the be storage back at the storage unit, unit so we can take a couple things out with the gas it's can. Cool, like in. our uh, <laughs> luggage. Yeah. Man, it's uh, sucky because that's a long way away. Yeah, it is. That's all right. That's all right. It's 2:09. Well, we've, we've got time. Yeah. Uh, we said. I think we said yesterday. Oh, there she is. to Sam's today that we've succeeded. Yeah. So that's our mission. Uh, well, there you go. You gotta get out because she's in a uh, wheelchair. Hey, how's it going? Oh, nice lady in a wheelchair. Oh, what does your message say? What's your message? Luna. Hi, Linda. How are you? Sweetheart's paying the landlord the 200 that, uh, well, she generously lets us pay her for keeping the RV here. Only we're actually partly late, late, late. We are, we're always late. But better late than never. And we're trying to get the RV out, as you guys know. And I think we're going to get it this time. I think we're going to do it. I can't wait to get the RV down out of there, but guess what? This is a new adventure up, uh, right in front of us. After we get the RV down now, it's like, oh, let's get the RV where we gotta go kind of thing. Mm. Here's the keys to the RV, which will help. I'm gonna put them right here, huh? Because last time we left them in the ignition, which is fine. Nobody messed with it. I wasn't worried about that, but I just was worried about keeping track of it. And now we've got it laying around in the seats. So, man, I gotta tell you, the more pressure we get under, the more unorganized and disorganized we are in our world, you know. that goes without saying when we're worried about the gas and my baby he, he did he I, I'm always like well if you guys would ever listen to me it'll work out and I've kind of proved today that that was not it's still gonna work out but I was like how much gas is in there and he's like I don't know I'm like I don't think we need gas honey I we, we drove all the way up the mountain we weren't able to siphon anything out of